Kim Townsville here. Let's have a conversation about the use of I feel versus the use of I think or I believe for professional communications, for academic communications, really for all types of communications. The use of I feel versus I think or I believe, there's a slight little difference between the meaning of those phrases. Let's explore that today. If you disagree, please leave your comments below and let's open a discussion about uh, the use of I feel versus I think or I believe. Probably when we were children, we were told that our feelings can't be wrong. We were told to express our feelings and that whatever we were feeling was correct. As we grew up, we were taught to think using our cognition, using our intelligence, but we still hung on to that saying, I feel, when we're actually expressing an opinion. Well, if I think that my body prefers protein over sugar, that's not a feeling that I have. I don't feel that I need protein. I believe that. I think that. I had a rational, logical cognition, something going on in there that makes me believe or think that my body prefers protein over sugar. I've had experiences, I've had um, some, some thought about that, maybe done some research. If I say I feel like I love you, that is pu purely based on emotion, most likely. Most likely we could argue the case that it's not. What happens when we are in school or in academic settings or professional settings too frequently, and we'll see this all the time, I'm guilty of it and I want people to point it out when I do it so that I can stop doing it. But too often we'll say, I feel like this proposal is the best one for our organization at this time. Well, we don't feel that that proposal is the best and we're not loving that. It's not an emotion that we think that this proposal is best for our organization at this time. We think that. We believe that. We've used some intellect, some re reason, some logic. There's something going on up here to make us believe that thought. But when we say, I feel versus I believe or I think, there's a slight difference in the way that that may be perceived. What is it? Why do we say, I feel, when we really mean, I think or I believe? I have a theory about that. I think that we commonly say, I feel, instead of saying, I believe, because we were brought up that way and we've said, well, if I say my feelings, you can't argue with me. You can't tell me my feelings are wrong. You can't tell me that I'm right or wrong. However, things that we think or things that we believe, we most certainly can be wrong. We can be proven wrong. We can be thought wrong. We can make all kinds of errors and just be flat out wrong. But are we guilty of prefacing a belief or an opinion or something that we've actually thought out with I feel to gain audience approval, to make people believe us? Or are we doing that to try to get people to come over to our side to agree with us? It's really not a good use of the word. Let's try to say I think and I believe when we're stating an opinion or some kind of thing that we thought out. And let's say that I feel for things that are emotional. Improve communication one phrase at a time. Please feel free to like the video, to make comments below, to subscribe to my channel. I have various playlists so you don't have to watch something that you're not interested in. And please feel free to share. Thank you. To be honest, I had to redo the, the beginning of the video because I used a phrase that I despised. I actually said, I would like to talk to you today about, well, don't say I would like to, just do it. But that's another video. We can do this. We can improve communication, can't we? Please help me improve mine and let's carry on a healthy dialogue about this. Thank what do you think? Leave your comments below and let's sort this out, shall we? Till next time. Bye-bye.